awakening of yours. Let's continue that discussion. This awakening of yours, humanity, is awakening at this time. You are a human. You are experiencing an upheaval, uh, a reformation, a renewal, a transformation, you humans. I speak in simple terms here, uh, and I use some metaphors, and I use some <clears throat> signs and symbols that are familiar to you, uh, and I borrow from the various disciplines, descriptive terms that I then spin <clears throat> to suit my needs as a philosopher and an educator. So let's speak of this awakening of yours in terms of the way I do it. You are awakening to the truth. Uh, now I hear you say, well, the truth is relative, isn't it? Everyone has their own truth. I agree. Everyone has their own personal truth. The truth I am talking about, however, in these discussions, uh, is the truth with a capital T. Uh, the truth is the truth to be found <clears throat> when communicating with your divinity, uh, higher consciousness, when you're in touch with your divinity, you are hearing the truth. Uh, we also call it tapping in. <sighs> to use a, an electronics term, tapping in to the ancient wisdom communication stream, um, to the information stream of all that is. Do you see? Are you getting this message? Uh, so this is what is really going on here. <clears throat> Humans are awakening to the truth of the reality the collective reality that you're creating for yourself in this system, uh, the earth plane, mm, the ancient wisdom, presents the unvarnished truth for your perusal. Um, let's talk about some of the enemies uh, of truth. <clears throat> Higher consciousness is attempting to awaken you, uh, but it has to penetrate. <clears throat> your belief system, your ideas of uh, self, uh, the construct that surrounds you, that you call my personal reality. Mm. You see? And you construct this personal reality um, <clears throat> because uh, you are an average citizen, let's say, in the modern world, from some very <clears throat> negative uh, influences, uh, fear, anger, the negative emotions, uh, 
the unhelpful perspectives uh, of intellectualization and denial. That's how you create your world. Uh, in a sense, you're creating this broad lens that you put in front of you that filters. <laughs> it filters out all that is, the truth of all that is. <clears throat> and all that can get through is what makes you fearful, angry, uh, what makes you attempt to figure it out, intellectualization we call it. What <clears throat> challenges you uh, so much that you become defiant and deny what's right in front of you. You see? Fear, anger, intellectualization, and denial are the enemies of truth. Mm. You know, let that sink in for a while. And as always, I'm connecting these uh, memes mm, with holographic inserts for your personal edification. Mm. If you would like a description for a holographic insert, visit our website, SethReturns.com. Read our many books. Now the <clears throat> lens that you use, uh, the filter, the governor, um, is in actuality a type of limiter. Uh, if you were to perceive all that is, everything that's in front of you, in its totality, it would, uh, to use a vernacular, blow your mind. Uh, <clears throat> it would be too much uh, for your brain. And so, this idea of uh, limiting your perception is very valuable. However, Many of you in the process <laughs> of not blowing your mind have created this fearful, angry, intellectual denial construct um, that keeps you in chains, <clears throat> in chains to authorities of all types. Um, they press your fear buttons, your anger buttons to control you. We talked about this over decades. <coughs> I'm not going to get into that at this time. Uh, let me just talk a few minutes about what might be uh, the friends of truth, the facilitators of awakening to the ancient wisdom communication stream, the truth, you see, the unvarnished <laughs> truth of all that is. I think number one would be love with a capital L. Love and the cultivation of this state allows you to uh, embody the divine, to live in the divine moment, uh, and to receive those fruits of understanding that occur when you connect with that uh, divine aspect of self, your higher consciousness, your divinity, your soul identity. Mm. The key is love, uh, the same as it always has been throughout your history. Um, 
is it easy to embrace love continually? No, it's something that takes courage. Mm. It takes compassion, and thus we talk about courageous loving. Mm. Loving understanding and courage combined, you say. These are the perspectives that you use to allow truth to come up and be recognized by self, yourself. Mm. Another friend of truth is uh, good humor, we call it in the books. Elementary ecstasy, we also call it. Feeling good about yourself, endorsing yourself, mm. being in the flow, uh, being happy because you desire happiness, ecstasy, love's truth. Mm. Uh, another friend of truth is faith, um, a faithful expectation, a positive expectation. You see, uh, these perspectives, these altered states that you create for yourself uh, moment to moment keep you in your sanctuary, your protective space. Uh, they keep you in what we call the now, the now moment, the moment point. Mm, they connect you to, yes, all of your soul aspects, but also everything else. Mm, the divinity aspect, you see. So I suggest that you, <clears throat> for example, when you <clears throat> wake up from sleep in the morning or whenever you awaken from sleep, you check yourself. Um, we talk about uh, a behavior in which you instantaneously from the moment your feet touch the ground, let's say, on the moment you open your eyes, that you check yourself. Mm. And as you look around your room, wherever you are, let's say, you check yourself and let go of the enemies of truth, mm. those barriers to your perception. those barriers that keep you from your personal awakening, that keep you uh, angry and fearful, that keep you cynical. You let go of them one by one <clears throat> and make room for uh, the positive. Mm, this is old material. Uh, teachers throughout the generations have talked about the importance of uh, being positive uh, and allowing negative <coughs> thoughts, images, and emotions to flow through you without attachment. Um, and then you simply repeat as needed in this quest for awakening, on this path of understanding that you are on, I'm assuming, uh, this is how you keep connected to the ancient wisdom communication stream. Mm, now I'm going to 
going to stop now. And I will expect you uh, to visit us again next week at this time. Thank you very much. Alrighty then.